for being here. Hope you're having a wonderful day and night, and I appreciate you stopping on by. So Welcome tonight, to we'll be taking a look zone. at one of my favorite arcade games of all time, Space Harrier. Now, developed by Sega Enterprises, it was created Welcome by Yu Suzuki and released in 1985. And so watch out. In this game, the environment can be more dangerous than the enemy projectiles. Whew! So I hope you're all having a good day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button. That helps the channel. And if you're not subscribed, yeah, feel free to. So has anybody played this game? If you're the premiere, I'm in the chat with you. So uh, yeah, type in why if you've played this game. Or any of its uh, successors. Ooh, we're doing good so far. Now, I mentioned that it was created by Yu Suzuki. You might recognize that game from a couple of other of his works, such as Hang On, Outrun, Afterburner. No, he's got a good resume. Oh, also Virtue Racing, Virtue Fighter. Never heard of those? Have you ever heard of Shenmue? He worked on that too. Yeah, exactly. Get ready. Yeah, that's Yu Suzuki we were talking about, the creator of this game worked on all those other games I just mentioned. Now, the arcade itself had you sitting in a jet cockpit setting. It was really cool. Now, you were elevated off the ground, and you would use an analog flight stick to move your character around. So if you move the flight stick left, the actual machine would roll and tilt left. So essentially, whatever direction you move the flight stick, the machine itself moved. It was really cool. So as a kid, at the campground I'd stay at. They had this in the arcade. And it was so much fun. Definitely worth their money. It didn't feel like a quarter hog. If anything, it really felt like you're getting your money's worth. Oh! oh, oh, oh the scenery! Get ready. Now, the game at the time had really innovative graphics that were not only ooh, innovative, but inspiring. So inspiring that a former Capcom employee or you might know him as... Okay, I'm actually paying attention. Dude, yeah, it's right. tough. Sorry. The former Capcom employer, you might know him as the founder of Platinum Games, Hideki Kamiya. He yeah, cites right. as an inspiration for uh, entering the video game industry. Draw your tough. Get ready. All right, let's go. No one messing around. We'll get the facts after we defeat this boss. Oh, I gotta avoid him. Yes! Stage 3. Umbar. But again, thank you for being here. Oh! They're good. Get ready. Now, the game itself, if you couldn't tell, is a fast paced rail shooter. Avoiding obstacles, the scenery, the bad guys, projectiles. Oh, come on. Give me a boss. Oh, it's so much fun though. Like, one of my favorite arcades of all time. Oh man. I'm on the edge of my seat. Come on, come on. Oh, it's going fast! It's super fast! I can't even. Oh! Now, originally it was actually meant to be a realistic combat shooter, but they had to downscale it to uh, match hardware restrictions at the time. Oh, oh. Nasty looking guy. Got him! Now, inspirations for the game actually, does the design vary from Gundam, the anime series Space Cobra, or even the film Never Ending Story. Ooh. You'll recognize the Never Ending Story reference in the bonus level. Alright, let's go. This level's super hard. No more facts in this level. I gotta focus. To get through it alive. Wish me luck. Oh, if you wanna send me luck, smash that like button! I'll do twice as good. Look at that! 
Nothing's gonna stop me with you guys if I miss that. Oh. Yes! We made it through. Oh, shh! The Gundams! Oh. They're not Gundams, but you know, it's fire. Now, it's also widely believed that this and the space here. Oh, here's it. Look! Inspired by Neverending Story. Here's a bonus level. Gotta destroy the trees to get points. So, it's widely believed that this game, Space Harrier, and Sega's other shooter, Fantasy Zone, are in, take place in the same universe. So much so that that 1989 port of Fantasy Zone for the Japanese exclusive Sharp X68000 contains a hidden level including Space Harrier enemy characters. They only can access it by a certain button combination, but that's still pretty cool. Alright, so now we got little weird floaty things, jets, jet planes coming at us, and eventually Max, there's the jet planes. Or some kind of plane. Remind me of one Decepticon, but I'm having a brain fart. Oh, oh. There, there we got the jets. The one, some of them had dual cockpits. Oh, oh come on! Get ready. Let's go. Get ready. I remember just hearing that in the arcade all the time. Even if you weren't playing it, like as it cycled through its little demo, you'd hear that. It just brings me back, man. Whoa. Whoa! This boss. Totally different. Come on, come on, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! <sighs> Alright. Wow, save seven. Yeah, we are doing great. Thanks, guys. Alright, so the game went on to be so successful that it sequel Space Harrier 2. Whoa, Mastodons is one on. Space Harrier 2, its sequel. Actually is one of six launch titles for the second master system. Oh! Oh! More Gundams. It was inspired by Gundams, so you can't call it that. Ooh, Mastodon Bones. Damn. It's getting a little morbid here. Originally, we saw Mastodon. Now we only see their bones. I'm not seeing any more Mastodon. Dang. Did the Gundam take them all out? <laughs> okay. We're doing pretty good. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Watch out. Again, thank you for being here. I love this game. If you haven't tried it, you really should check it out. But I recommend the original Space Area first, the arcade version. As I typically say, the arcade version is superior. No, come on, come on. <sighs> we didn't beat him. Oh, well. We came close. Stage 8. Ida, I've never came this far. Better focus. So what do you think of this game? You like it? Oh! Ah! Now the music, oh, it's not gonna give us any more continues. All right, we'll try again. We'll try again. The music was by Hiroshi Kawaguchi, who also worked on the music for Outrun, Afterburner, and more. Now the music the was so people. good, Get ready. or so, uh, Influential, you could say, that I actually inspired famous composers. One being the composer of Street of Rage, Yozo Koshiro, who eventually did the music to a port of this game. I believe maybe even the Sharp Japan exclusive 68,000 that I mentioned before. But he actually cites this soundtrack early defining influencer to his uh, career in the video composing industry, which is pretty cool. It's just crazy to see how many jobs and people moved on from a retro game and went on through the company. Like, the, the creator for this guy went on to Virtual Racing, Virtual Fighter, and then Shenmue. That's awesome. I'm really enjoying the series just because I get to learn a lot. And thank you for being with me. Oh, so if you're enjoying any of those facts I laid out, because we already ran through them. 
Tell me your favorite fact in the comment section. Well, let's go. Now it's time to focus and beat this game. Facts out of the way, time to take some beating. Woo! You're going down! Yeah! Doing way better now if I'm not trying to list our facts. Alright, let's do it. Guys, gals, on my non binary bells, you ready to get pick some voodoo? Oh, oh! If you get, again, if you missed it though, one of my favorite things about this game was that you were in a jet slash cockpit style setting where you're at the arcade. You actually had like a, a jet flying slash analog stick that you used to control the character, and the machine itself, your seat and the screen would tilt in the direction the character goes. Yeah, right. So it would be like a mini roller coaster ride. Like, how many arcades do that? I think there actually are two other times, but that's some pretty sweet stuff. Pretty proprietary technology right now. Come on, let's kick some butt. Oh! Get ready. I'm ready. Stage three. Come on. So I'm playing this off the Sega Ages collection. It's not really a collection, you have to buy them one by one, but it was $7.99 on the eShop. Totally worth it, in my opinion. Yeah, I've got that whole nostalgia factor, and if you've been paying attention to any of my retro games, nostalgia played a big part in retro preference. Oh. But this is a great game. I mean, if it wasn't good, it wouldn't have went on to influence so many great creators and composers in the industry. I'd never like this stage. Oh! Get ready. I say that like I'm making fun of the game. No, I'm like, I'm actually feeling it. Cause I, this just brings me back to being a kid. I'm like, oh, I, can't, I can't. If you, if the camera was on right now, you'd see me grinning. So much. Uh, oh, except when I die. Let's go. Get ready. I'm ready. I'm ready? Many more battle seeds will be available. Oh, what's that even mean? Get ready. Should have moved a little more. That was my fault. Get ready. I'm ready. Sorry, yeah, chat. Let's go. You're going down! This one's for you, chat. Yeah. Whoa, scatter shot. Oh, whoa, whoa, he's desperate. We're both desperate. Desperate times, desperate measures. Oh! Get ready. Bro, you think I'm not ready? Stage four, Sicile. Oh, say that five times fast. Is Sicile the proper pronunciation? Oh, okay, no talking, no talking, no talking. No. I did bad. I did so bad there. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Dang. I 
hiding behind the tree. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button. It helps me do better. It makes me feel good. It helps the jam. It shows me that you guys want more of that trip. No way I'd be able to do this with the chat. Like live. Because I'd be too distracted. Whoa! Crash into the scenery. stage. I don't like this stage at all. I remember giving up on the stage when I was in the arcade as a kid. Now, on the console, it doesn't seem so bad. I'm not putting money into it. But as a kid, it'd be a quarter of a rare commodity back then. Would you enjoy it? Quarters were high ticket items when you were a young boy out in an arcade. Alright, we made it through. But we gotta beat this boss, and then it gets narrowed down, which is just a mind trick. But they put the ceiling closer to the floor so you feel claustrophobic. But they have the pillars and the biggest, biggest scenery like, things you can crash into out of the whole game, which are those giant, like, hexa 20 sided die like items. Listen, we're making fast progress, though. Stage 4 already. Here it comes. A claustrophobic feeling. There's those giant dice like items. Alright. Let's talk. Better get good! Scrub! You're doing great! Bonus stage. Hey, here's that never ending story influence, legit. David, the creators admitted to taking influence from Gondol. Never ending story anymore. So this is clearly a trade. Come on, let's get bonus life or something? I don't know. Destroy the trees! It gives us points. Oh. Right. Thank you, Atreyu. Nasty looking thing. The stage isn't so bad. Has like a hit. No, but really, it's not so bad. Well, again, thank you everybody for being here. I appreciate it. This is only going to be a. Hopefully, we'll be able to make this game last a half hour, but it's a short game. 
smash that like button. Get back, relax, and I appreciate it. You know, after well, looking like to the fullest ability. I'm like moving left and right in my seat, so the mic might be a little bad right now. Oh, man, come on. Come on. Let's go. I've always wanted to beat this game. Let tonight be the night. Is this the boss? No. Well, there's the weird thing. <laughs> All right, go through the woolly mammoths, the Gundams, and then the woolly mammoth bones. Okay, what do you guys think of this game? You like it? It's, uh, uh, hmm, it's way cooler in the arcade. Man, I need to hold on to my life. I have a bad feeling I don't have any continues left. That's a shame. What's next? Is it, uh, it's probably a three. Get ready. What could be next? Oh, this guy. Oh, come on, please give me one more continue. Give me one more continue. No! Darn it! Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it! Darn it! <sighs> Alright, let's try one last time. Welcome to the family. Get ready. Man, I'm so into this. We gotta win. We've gotta win. Again, this game came out in 1985, but it was totally ahead of its time. You can see why it was such an inspiration to game creators. So many continues, so we gotta make it last. Yes! Good. Pretty good so far if we don't jinx it. Alright, come on. Woo! New John Kratz merch featuring the hit slogan, Your Mom. Just kidding, no. Sound like a dog, though. Easy boss, easy boss, just avoid the fire. Avoid the fire. Yes! Stage three, yeah, we are doing great. I don't like this level. I mean, it's colorful, it's all like Alice in Wonderland, but like, that's neat, but the scenery is such an obstacle. Wow. 
All right, chat. I'm calling upon all of you. I'm gonna get a spirit bomb here. Smash that like button to give me power. Let's do this. And it says we want to see more of this, so I do appreciate it. But everybody being here, thank you so much. And if you didn't hear me say, if you did learn something new at the beginning of this video, I would love to hear your favorite comment or favorite fact that you learned about this game in the comment section. That would make my day. I should have moved more. I should have moved get more. Ready. Yeah, get ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Woo! All right. This is mine. Boggling stage. Gosh, wow. Bonus stage, right? Nope. Gundam? Okay. Okay. Go oh! Okay. Get ready. Now bonus stage. Okay. Cool. Cool. But again, that was previously the Gundam influence they had. This is the never-ending story influence they had. So it's a bonus stage. We've got to collect trees. Come on. Don't go up. Go, go up, you little fudger. Stay down. I want to get the trees. They promote destroying trees in this game. That's it? Oh, man, we could have done better. Alright, oh. right, let's go. This might be the time. This might be the time I finally beat this game. You're doing great. I feel like I'm doing great for once. I'm gonna be laughing at myself hearing the sounds I'm making, but I'm like so into it, just don't want to die, don't want to die, don't want to die. Oh man. Oh wow. Holy schmickles, guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, I think we might be able to do it this time. On our limited amount of continues. Unless the game is, like, way longer than I ever could have expected. For a game that came out in 1985, the variety, the difference in the stages, it's awesome. And if you're interested, you can pick this up on the Sega, because the Sega ages on the eShop, for $7.99 plus tax. Nice. Oh, okay, whatever, whatever, got plenty of lives. Alright, sweet. We're at the high score now, so you're clearly doing better than ever before. Come on, come on. No more lives on this fool. No more lives wasted on this fool. Defense. Best offense. Okay, he just disappeared like a little coward. Stage 8. Look, okay, it's got little mountains in the background. It's tricking my mind, making me think they're gonna come up here. Please give me another key. Get ready. Cool. We're doing it, chat. We're doing it, though. Those were 
really up close. Not even a threat. Those remind me of Star Wars, those, those little black things. That open up. And shoot projectile lasers at Why go blue? Whoa, 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 hold up. That's cool. Didn't see that becoming. Such a wide variety of enemies in this game. It's awesome. Okay, who's this? Circle stone guy. Okay. He's stone. Shooting breath of fire. Ho! Oh, dang it. Come on. Just pretend this, you don't have any more continues left. Just, just destroy him. Come on. Come on. Um, Please have a continue left then, please. Get ready. <sighs> Thank goodness. I would have been so bummed. Like, come on. We gotta destroy this fool. This chucklehead. Look at him. He's ugly. Yes! Woo! Stage nine. Look at that. Oh, the background. It's so clear. Oh no. Claustrophobic mode. What? Oh no. What? How do you expect me to get through get this? Ready. Oh my goodness. Come on. Get ready. You jerks. Jerk hole hills. Hey, come on, give me one more continue. I did so good. Oh dang! First place. That was so close. That's cool. Who knows how long the game would go. Hey, if you want to see more, I honestly recommend picking up the game because you've basically seen all there is that, you know, without this getting too repetitive. But it's a great game. $7.99 at the eShop. Pick it up. It's really worth it. Again, it came out in 1985. And the graphics and everything in this game just really inspired a lot. But thank you so much. I'll catch you later and the next retro retrospective. Okay. This is John Kratz.